now we're getting memories with modern. I, I think you're going to see... I think modern's going to go from... I think, obviously, cards are going to come back from PSA, so there is going to be some price drops. However, yeah. I think in terms of interaction, it's going to go from strength to strength to strength. I can't wait to see a high-class pack in England. Yeah. If that ever happens as a holiday set, a proper high-class pack, so you get, like, three hollows... We deserve it, man. We do card, deserve it, yeah. Oh, a god packs even even just in like normal sets if there's a chance to get a god pack yeah i don't know how you'd not have that weighable but sure but yeah. like can you imagine how sick it'd be you're opening a booster box of of um chilling rain and all mm. of a sudden you open it and it's got like a, a silver coco and you're like yeah. You flip it, first yeah. cards are a, a high, uh, like a full art or something you're like what well, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you my, my favorite modern sets not, not. I mean, yeah. My favorite sets. Like, uh, my three recent most favorite sets are Hidden Fates, but then Tag All Stars and Sh and Shining Star V. Not Shining Fates, yeah. specifically Shining Star V. And I and and I probably would have said if I actually got into it before, I would have said probably Ultra Shining GX maybe before Hidden Fates. Um, but I only I started with Hidden Fates, you know, so I kind of started with Shining yeah, Fates yeah. in that aspect. So those high class sets are so much fun. You get so much value in them, like. Yeah, they're just yeah. Hol hol two hollows in every pack, one GX in every pack, one secret per box. You, uh, with shiny stuff, I was just sitting here, just <laughs> just, just cracking. It's yeah. just so much fun, man. It's enjoyable, it's more enjoyable than anything else. Ridiculous, and it, it's yeah. not like uh, like as we're young, we have that kind of need for immediate gratification. We've got Amazon Prime, we've got Netflix. We yeah. don't have to wait for adverts and stuff. And if you can open a pack and you know you're getting two hollows in the GX, it doesn't matter that you're like. Yeah. You know it's in the pack. You're, you're accustomed to getting two or three of like full arts of box or something, and you're like, "Sick, got another one! Sick, got another one!" And it just doesn't. That never fades. <laughs> it's yeah. so fun. And and that it's just ripping open a pack is just so it's addictive. It's enjoyable, and that, that's what's that's what's that's that's the key reason why Pokemon's so big right now. Not not yeah. even the, the grading. The, I think the grading does get the headlines. You know, in terms of like the, the PSA ten Charizard, like blah, 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 that gets the, great, the, the headlines. But just the, the modern cars are just. People love them, you know. Like a lot of the values as well. These of these raw mint yeah. modern cards are insane, you know. Compared to PSA, you know, you, like PSA nine, it's pretty, a lot of cards is the same price as a as a raw card in certain cases. Um, to me, it was so weird how long it took to become such a phenomenon on YouTube for like pack openings because Pokemon is has always been packs, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Ever since pretty much the start. But then you look at FIFA channels and stuff. They got massive off pack openings. Mm, pack, yeah. Where were people filming Pokemon then? Like, pack openings then, where were they? Because Prime time people, Pokemon. people just wanted to watch pack openings. Yeah, you know what it is? It's age. I, th I think, listen to what Connor was saying there and, and what you were saying as well. I think it's age. I think we have to remember, where we're Gen 1, off. right? We're, we're, yeah. we're Gen 1 and Gen 2. you got to remember, I, I know people now in my Discord and mods who their first game was like Diamond and Pearl or their first game was X and Y. John. So they know John. Yeah, So they know these new Pokemon. So when you see sets like Hidden Fates, I know that it's not all... Gen 1, but you have like Altaria in there, Gen 3, you have, you know, um, Garchomp, Gen 4. When they go through Hidden Fates, they obviously, of course, they know Charizard, of course, because they're in the games anyway, but they also know, oh, look at that, you know, look at that Plusle, look at that, you know, Altaria, look at this Garchomp, Gibble, because that's their game, you know? And I think that's what it is. I think the big part of it is that now, and that's what's, that's why we've seen such a surge in modern, because those kids are getting older now and getting into Pokemon, whereas before it was just the Gen 1 kids and the Gen 2 kids. See, Gen 1 kids, right? Gen 1 and Gen 2 kids, that's all they know. Whereas, like, Gen 6 kids know four or five, you know, they know all of it beforehand. So it's kind of like, I think that's what it is. I think these kids are getting older now and wanting to buy Hidden Fates because... I think that's a big part of it, you know? And I think that's why Pokemon's so great. That's why every single, every new generation that comes out supports the next generation, you know? And it, 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 I think that's what it is, you know? To point, a point, point out there, though, because obviously it has been so hard to get product this year and it has been hard for for when we were the Gen 1ers and we were younger to interact with Pokemon, it has been so difficult for people to interact with Pokemon product. Will it damage the hobby long-term? Because obviously now the uh, we're good yeah. and the 18 plus 22-year-olds are good. Um, yeah. But net, that I doesn't mean 16-year-olds are being able to get I this I think stuff. what you said earlier, though, plays a big part in that. Why did you start collecting Pokemon cards? Oh, because I couldn't get them. Because yeah. you couldn't get them? Yeah, that's very true. So now they're going to be like, I can get these when I was 16, but now I'm 25 and I just got bank to throw at these things. So <laughs> yeah. let's go for yeah. it. Do you know what I mean? I'm working in some weird job that didn't exist in 2021. Like I'm, I'm, I'm working that new level. Bus driver. Yeah. Bus drivers don't exist in 2021. 
COVID, isn't it? I'm pretty sure Buster still <laughs> exists, mate. Uh, they're like, they're doing the new Teslas that are uh, taxis and all sorts. And, uh, and they're just like, yo, I got money now. So they're yeah. throwing it at Pokemon cards. And we're like, back in my day, Pokemon cards were only £10,000. And they're like, I'm throwing millions at this stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, th- I, think was, I think, yeah, so, separate Pokemon cards from Pokemon itself. And that, that, I think that's really, really key to it because, like, like you said before, who who grew up in the UK or maybe the US or Europe and didn't know Pokemon? Barely any of us, right? Everyone knows everyone everyone knows what their Pokemon is, whether whether they played it, whether they enjoyed it, they know what it is, you know. People who people at school, you know, uh, who didn't really collect cars or didn't really play the game, they know what Pikachu is, etc. So I think what happens is in, in the in the internet now, right? So if if you see a YouTuber or if you see Logan Paul or if you see, you know, just, just uh, if someone on Facebook mention Pokemon cards. What it does it? It unlocks something in your brain that you've always had. You've always liked Pokemon, but now you now you've seen the cards. It just brings everything back. And I think we we just have to realize that. I think we, Pokemon's bigger than it, we thought yeah, it was. Was you know what I'm saying? It, it, Pokemon is bigger than we always thought it was. I never knew it was the biggest gross, gross in media franchise of all time. Blah blah blah. I just thought it was Pokemon. It's, it's like water. It's just there, right? <laughs> and now I think you've put in cards, collectibles, value on something that we've always loved, and that's, that's it's, it's going to open Pandora's box, right? Well, as simple there's as a that, whole really. ecosystem there's a yeah. whole ecosystem there uh, and the weird thing is Pokemon collectors or Pokemon players or any of them always downplay the size of Pokemon almost like they don't want to get disappointed but we saw when we went to that Pokemon store how big it was we saw the phenomenon which that was, was crazy Pokemon right Go. E- even then yeah. would you guys have even imagined that I-, I did not imagine that store being in London we thought it was going to be busy yeah we were like we'll get there two hours early I think we got there two hours early and we thought we'd early. be like really yeah and we were like oh it might might get a queue for but like but we went on oh, day like one two, right that, that, that queue was there mm. all month <laughs> the entire yeah. the entire time it was there that queue was there that, that's the crazy part yeah that's part what I mean it. we didn't think it was going to be as long as it was I still my, I, I can never get over that day my favourite memory of that is seeing the, the parents that were obviously like our age yeah and their little kid and they were dressed as Team Rocket and the kid had like a Meowth onesie on and I was yeah. like that sums up like everything yeah, that's yeah, right but, but about us, even us we don't know this right we, we don't know mm. that there are there are people out there who just collect plushies or just collect the merch or like the, merch is the biggest he part of Pokemon let's not forget <laughs> even, I, but I, just got, I got this from the Pokemon Center for decoration you know like this, mm. to be honest this, is, this hasn't been something I would, I, would, I would consider myself a collector of I just, I just like to have a visual background you know but People out there, you know, you've got fans of Pokemon who don't play the games, who don't even yeah. play cards, but they think Eevee's cute, right? Yeah, I know a few people that's that simple. just about play that's the simple. games, don't collect the cards, but have got Pokemon tattooed on them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, look, Logan Paul, right? Collect like, tattoos. Logan Paul <laughs> had that Squirtle tattoo, tattoo, right? He yeah. didn't collect Pokemon cards. He probably didn't play the game too much, but he had, he just loved Squirtle, right? You know? Um, I think we all have an affinity with either a Pokemon or a type of genre that we, you know, the games or whatever. Yeah, like we yeah. all have an affinity with, I, I, I think there's very few people in our age bracket who aren't. And personally, I, the nerd culture is massive yeah. and Pokemon is front and center of that. It's it's absolutely huge. And maybe we should stop play, downplaying Pokemon because it is going to be a large part of lives anyway. For the next decade, Pokemon's not yeah. going to go anywhere anytime soon. Like, yeah. it's still going to be here in one genre or another.